health promotion has to take into account social determinants of health, very clear. And if you look at what is in all the health promotion documents, it's clear that it does. It's not always clear it takes into account in what health promotion practitioners actually do. So one of the clear messages is that the practice of health promotion has to embrace social determinants of health. One of the questions that I have been asked when we produced the report of the Commission on Social Determinants of Health is why did we need it? Why did we need a commission? Wasn't it all in Almorata in 1978? And I have three answers to that question. The first is, even if we just said it again, it needed to be said again. Because after Almorata, as we understand well, it was not implemented. The world went galloping off in a different direction. So it needed to be said again because we need to get people to think about actually taking seriously the social terms of health. The second is there's a huge amount of research that's been done in the last 30 years. We know a great deal more than we did. And that relates to the third point, which was Amrata was a rallying call, which is great, and we need rallying calls. What the Commission on Social Determinants of Health did was to try and give practical policy guidance of what you could actually do on early child development and education, on women and gender equity, on living conditions, on employment conditions, on fair financing, and so on. We tried to get detailed about the action that needed to be done. And that raises an important issue. The Minister of Transport says, I'm not a health minister. The Minister of Education says, I'm not a health minister. Why should I get involved in health? It's not my core business. It's not where my budget comes from. It's not where the expertise. What we need to do, and this is not easy, but this is what I've been trying to do and others have been trying to do in the wake of the Commission's report in the last 14 months, is trying to get the Minister for Education to understand that what she does with her core budget has a huge impact on health and the distribution of health. What the Minister of Transport and what the Minister of Finance and the Minister of Housing and the Minister of Work and Pensions do with their budgets has huge impact on the distribution of health, the fair distribution of health, health equity. So we need to make common cause with these various sectoral interests. It's not health taking over. It's actually giving these ministers and their civil servants an extra reason to be concerned and perhaps to do what they do a bit differently by taking equity and health equity into account. I'm hugely encouraged by what's happened in the last year or so. Hugely encouraged. I mean, my fear was that when the Commission on Social Determinants of Health reported, people would acknowledge it and that would be the end of it. But that has not been the case. It's on a lot of agendas. And then there's a very important question. Well, who's going to drive the agenda forward? Who's going to drive the agenda forward? Social determinants of health? Malaria, we know who'll drive the malaria agenda forward. We'll know who, who'll drive the health care agenda forward. And we know who'll drive the education. But the social determinants of health, who's going to drive that agenda? Why not the health promotion community? Shouldn't they be really important in driving this agenda forward? Not within the narrow confines of a job within a health department, but within a much broader definition of the role, which is actually to try and get the knowledge, the understanding, and the action across the whole of government. And, I mentioned government, and of course civil society is absolutely crucial, because when government doesn't act, or won't act, or can't act, or doesn't know what to do, then civil society is really very important. And to the extent that civil society has understood these key principles of health promotion, civil society has a very important role to play.